said, despite this game, what are you going to take from the first half of the season heading into the All-Star game next year? I mean, that was really Coach's message, um, you know, in the locker room. I mean, obviously, it stings going into the, the All-Star break, losing a game like this, um, you know, put ourselves in a hole early, but, um, you know, can't lose sight of what we've done. But, um, you know, definitely remember this feeling and um, have something to build off of and kind of light a fire under us for that second half of the year. Uh, what's the biggest thing that you'll take away from just this uh, first half of the season, you know, before the All-Star break? Um, you know, just how good we can be, you know, when we're locked in on, you know, both ends of the floor. Uh, I feel like, you know, we're a very, you know, tough team to beat, you know, when we're locked in. Uh, especially on defense, you know, that fuels our offense. We get out in transition, you know, we play very unselfish and it led us to what, 41 wins. Uh, so, you know, that's big time for us. We just got to, you know, like he said, you know, remember, you know, what got us to this point, you know, what we've done in the first half of the season and, uh, you know, let it, this loss and what we've done before fuel us for the second half. All-Star, you're a starter. What else do you want to accomplish this All-Star weekend? Um, really just, you know, put on, you know, uh, you know, for my teammates, my coaching staff, you know, the Grizzlies as a whole, city of Memphis, uh, my family, um, you know, where I'm from, Georgia, South Carolina. I uh, just, you know, have fun and enjoy it pretty much. Um, I also want that, you know, All-Star MVP. And, and lastly, what was it like to see your joggle picture on the side of the building next to LeBron? Um, just my picture being there is, you know, a blessing. Um, definitely, you know, something I'm not used to, uh, but it's um, something, you know, I work for, something I've earned, you know, with my play. And, um, yeah, happy. Coach Jenkins mentioned that during All-Star break, um, his message to you guys after this game was to hopefully try to, to take that break physically and mentally. Very different for you guys since you're going to All-Star. But how do you allow yourself to kind of kind of have that separation, to have that moment to kind of step away? Yeah, I mean, like you said, it is a little tough, um, you know, going straight from playing this whole first half of the season and going. But, I mean, it's, it's an honor to, to go there, you know, as it is. So, you know, I'm going to just look at it as, you know, some time away and my people are all going to be there. Um, so be able to kick it with them and, uh, you know, just enjoy it as much as I can. And after that, you know what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm outside. <laughs> <laughs> that time. <laughs> I'm outside, man. You know, it's a long season. Uh, we've been locked in, you know, for a while now, you know, take a step away from the game, you know, and enjoy ourselves, enjoy our family and enjoy this break. And, you know, have our fun. Uh, right back it's time it. to come back. Same thing we've been doing, you know, first half of the season. Uh, Ja, this season you made a lot of statistical jumps as a, as a defender. Just in what er in what areas have you seen your growth as a defender and in what areas are you looking to, like, challenge yourself on that end of the floor going forward? Um, you know, just locked in. I feel like, you know, me watching a lot of film, you know, seeing what guys like to do, uh, what, where they like to get to on the floor, you know, helps me a lot. Um, also, you know, having, you know, great defenders around me um, actually, you know, pushed me to be better as well. And um, I, I feel like I've just been, you know, way more active, you know, on that end of the floor. Um, and that's why you see, you know, those jumps. John, maybe you, uh, I'm curious if you agree with this. It feels like, you know, probably ever since you've been a prospect in high school, you've been charging, you know, trying to prove yourself as a basketball player. And I'm curious, like, on a weekend like this and an accomplishment like this, does it allow you to take a moment to reflect on sort of the journey and what you've accomplished? Like, will you take a moment to kind of reflect? Does, this, does a weekend like this allow you to do that? Uh, I do that every time I'm in the car by myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a blessing. Uh, my name got called on draft night is, you know, when I won. Made it out, man. So it's, you know, a blessing. A lot of people where I'm from, you know, don't do that. It's not, it don't happen often. So, you know, just blessed, you know, thanking God for everything and you just got to continue to work, man. Des, he says he's gunning for the All-Star Game MVP. Or, or, are we looking at the next uh, Rising Stars MVP? 
and three point contest winner. That's the one. Shit I, me. That's, that's the one I want. That's the one Shit I want. Me. You know, I ain't gonna be up there dunking and doing no crazy crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'll save my juice for Saturday. Hey John, you got 41 wins. Uh, this is a franchise that never won a division title. Uh, you're in reach of 58 win, which is for you. with so many goals there. Do they give you more fire to, 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 when you come back? Just not just to look to playoffs, but to achieve even bigger goals. Um, I feel like we have that fire already. Uh, not even you know looking ahead. Uh, pretty much just going into whichever day you know we have. It's a practice. Uh, if it's a game, you know. We're locked in, ready to go, you know, fuel. And we just got to continue to, you know, stay locked in, uh, focus on the day, continue to get better each and every day and see what happens now when we've been doing that. You know, we achieved, you know, some things that never happened in, you know, franchise history and uh, we're making history. So uh, it's pretty much just take it day by day and, you know, let the rest play out. Desmond in the back, going back to the three-point contest. How much, if any, have you practiced the structure of the way that that contest is set up? I got a little chance to uh, in Charlotte. Um, Darko had the racks out, um, you know, and I was able to, to test it out, kind of get a feel for it, get my little routine in place, figure out where I put the money ball at, um, you know, all that good stuff. So, you know, I feel like I'm prepared for it. Don't ask him when you put it out either. Yeah, Y'all gotta yeah, wait. Y'all gotta that. wait to to the show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just for, for both of you, Ja, um, when teams load up, you know, like in the second half, and they start to load up in the paint and, and, and things like that. Just uh, explain just what you're looking for there in terms of you know to score it and, and pass because you like you did both uh, in those situations. And then Des, it seems like when they start to do that more, you know, you really got going. When you see teams pack the paint like that uh, as a shooter. Um, what do you do, and, and just how do you feel off of that? Let me go first. Let me go ahead. Me personally, <laughs> with this guy beside <laughs> me, I mean, if you you shift, man, you're too late. So um, I'm pretty much just you know reading his his defender. Uh, I don't too much worry about mine. Uh, I don't think they can stay in front of me. So just reading, uh, you know, help guys if they help. I already know I got you know him on the wing to you know knock down the tray ball and. They try to, you know, do anything else. If they try to stay home, then I'm in the paint. So, cat and mouse, man. You choose which one you want to give up. <laughs> I can't say it no better. You know what I'm saying? I'm over, I'm over there on the wing watching the show. You know what I'm saying? If it come, I'm ready for it. And if not, he probably going to score it somehow, some way. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a good mix. Um, you know, I say it all the time, but I'm, I'm really thankful to be here in Memphis for sure. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.